All right, guys, so this is gonna be a test to see how well this setup is. Got a new GoPro. And I just go around uh, some of my favorite spots. Goddamn, the phone's jamming me in the side. All right, one sec. <laughs> yeah, got a new GoPro and then uh, same audio setup, but I don't have a uh, little filter on my mic so wind noise is probably gonna suck but like I said new GoPro so oh cool awesome new GoPro so I should have a pretty reliable video for about an hour Come on, DHL. Come on. Holy crap, man. I should have reliable audio. No, correction. Reliable video for an hour, at least. I have a decent card in there, and the battery on this model lasts for about an hour and nine minutes. So that's more than enough time for me to go to my local favorite routes and uh, just show you guys the beautiful landscape of this area. Gotta remember to get over how to get over to this place by this way. Don't normally go this way. But yeah, this is the current bike, like I said in my uh, my last video, and let's just make a right here. And uh, I really like it a lot. Um, I wanted to change up a little bit from yeah i know where we are okay cool i wanted to change up from uh the cruiser that i had for the honda uh, shadow spirit I really love that bike really love cruisers but i wanted something a little bit more flickable i mean i used to ride the hell out of that cruiser and you know put them on pretty technical roads where <laughs> a lot of sport bikes would be like holy fuck like how, how's this guy keeping up with me but you know I trust the bike even though it was broken and uh, didn't really give a care. So when it came to looking for an upgrade for it, uh, I, I jumped on the standard kind of naked bike because I always loved that that little type of motorcycles, that little niche. Um, as you can hear, there's a lot of wind, which doesn't really bother me on a day to day. But I just love, I love the style of it. It's, it's, it's really beautiful just to see, you know, engine and then not a lot of uh, fairing or anything like that. Not saying the fairing's bad or anything. I really like sport bikes, but uh, for right now, naked bikes is my niche, you know. But. ride pretty aggressive in my opinion um, on normal days when I'm just trying to just relax I don't drive that aggressive I kind of just cruise everywhere but when I want to go out and have some fun it's, it's typically aggressive So hopefully you guys can hear the bike a little bit. Um, considering that it's a stock Kawasaki uh, can, it, it does you know take a lot of the sound of it, um, personality, all that stuff. But with the setup that I have right now, it's not gonna t pick up a lot of those sounds. Cause I'm trying to compensate for uh, the lack of wind protection I have on the microphone that I have in the helmet. So hopefully you guys can hear a little bit. Otherwise, just enjoy the wind noise and probably my commentary, my, my shit commentary. And so this is the long downward straight that goes into the next part of the ride. usually haul ass down here when I'm in my Jeep 
which you know a freaking jeep and corner is not really go hand to hand but hey I, I make it work it's a lot of fun got a lot of body roll and all that good stuff but yeah I absolutely love coming down here especially this little area I would love to live in an area like this taking this a little bit gingerly <laughs> we'll see how many cars come down now this road a little bit more cars come down but it's not too bad typically <laughs> see what the Prius does come on Prius So this road, this road is amazing when no one's on it. There's this little uh, little segment that I'm about to do. There's this little bit of sweeping back and forth. And then we come up on this reservoir, sorry, bit my tongue, reservoir down there. And uh, we go over this metal bridge and it looks absolutely breathtaking. Except for in the summer. Summer looks all mucky and nasty, but you know, in the fall, it's absolutely amazing. Let me take this dry line. If you guys can see the reservoir down there. And then and the road tightens up a little bit when we get closer to the bridge. Steel bridge, a little bit. I don't know, a lot of people are intimidated with steel bridges on bikes, but I never had any issues on them. Yeah, they get slippery, but, you know, trust your skills. But look at that shot. Absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you what, when it's snowing, it's freaking awesome doing this road in the Jeep. Oh, pine needles. comes the broken ass <laughs> fucking terrain over here. This shit gets tricky. I'm gonna take it a little bit slow. Slowly getting the countryside, so should be a little bit less trees and pick up the speed a little bit. Hopefully, not this next. What the hell was that? Heard a ping sound. Hopefully, that wasn't anything on the bike. So, a heads up the loop actually does a complete loop, so we're gonna be seeing this intersection again. If I do the full loop, or if the, the battery lasts, but yeah, we come back over there. It's a pretty long loop, though. This is my 
favorite little town up here. A little town that we got past here. I don't think anybody would sell their house in there unless they just didn't like the neighbors. It's a little quaint little town. This is it right here. So you got a lot of like unique, colorful houses in here. House up there. And then there's like three roads that connect this whole little village. Freaking awesome. I really like that blue house and this red house right here. That red house I would live in. Why? Because it's freaking, it's freaking awesome, man. Well, I love this little town. Like seriously, if I lived here, I would just take these back roads every day. Don't care what the uh, temperature is, you know, what's going on. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of pool. So this road used to be really good until past snowstorms kind of got the plows out and they kind of scored the shit out of it. So I was doing this road a little bit, uh, a few days ago, sorry, and this guy comes down this hill and just on the completely wrong side of the road and I had to go in that big ass pothole right there. That shit sucked. Oh, don't tell me there's construction on my road. Oh, are you kidding me? Hopefully it's not on this upcoming road to the right. Oh, I think it is shit. We'll, we'll see. Let's see how 